How's it going guys? This is Patrick James here and today I have Jessica J, sex and dating coach extraordinaire uh, and she's going to be on here. We're going to talk about a few questions um, based on some themes I see that you guys are asking a lot. So I'm pretty excited for this. How are you doing today, Jessica? I'm good. I was just doing my twerk out to bubble butt before this <laughs> call, so I'm feeling all right. Yeah. How about you, Patrick? Love that song. I'm doing all right. It's been a pretty busy day, but I'm looking forward to this interview and delivering some massive value. I love it, as am I. You should bubble butt afterwards. I might bubble butt, like, I think during, you should. Probably. I think so, anyone listening should, right yeah, after. Just put on bubble <laughs> Pause the video, bubble butt, and then come back. Everybody pause and just bubble butt right now. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get too caught up into it, because you got to come back and get some value. But, uh, exactly. Yeah, so you talk a lot about conversations. You have a new product called Speak to Spark Arousal. Speak to Spark Arousal, yes. And one of the things that I always get asked is like, how do you um, approach a girl and start a conversation with her if you don't know her? Because that's pretty nerve wracking for guys who've never done it before. Yeah, and for anybody really, for yeah. anybody you don't know, you know. Yeah. So what is what is like if a guy asks you like, how do I come correctly to a girl, um, or like, what what would you tell him? Well, I love helping people come correctly. Yeah. Um, but what I would say is, I like to. First of all, what is the one thing we all have in common in this world? I have it in common with you. You have it in common with my mother. My mother has it in common with you who are listening or watching right now. Um, we all love sex. No, why does every guy say that? <laughs> <laughs> every single guy says that. That is not the answer. Um, okay. The one thing we all have in common is human experience. Am I right? True. We all got here the same way. We're all leaving the same exact way. We all have the ability to think and feel. Yes or no? True. Correct. Most people. So, yeah, most people. Um, so, and what is the one thing that all of us are interested in, first and foremost? Ourselves. Yes, yeah. exactly. We're all interested in ourselves. So, in terms of approaching complete strangers, what you need to do is you need to be able to immediately connect. Otherwise, you're seen as a threat. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Especially women. Women and are not a sexual threat. <laughs> yes, I, yeah. I'm always scared of men. I can't even tell you how scared of men I am. And I fucking love men. Um, I'm a dating coach for men. However, when it comes to me walking around in public, you know, I'm, if I see a group of men, like the first thing I feel is, uh oh. Is it okay to walk by them? And every woman feels that. Yeah. Um, so it's really natural for any guy to understand that it's fucking terrifying to approach women because right. you know that they're probably fucking terrified. Am I right? Yeah. Anyway, so immediately connect. The way to do that is to immediately show her that you're somebody she can connect with. How? By being a normal fucking dude? By being, no, by being a fucking human being because it's the one thing you guys connect on already. Right. Okay. So I say start with something personal. And I'm not saying, when I say something personal, I mean it has to do with your own thoughts, feelings, experiences, as who you are right now. So for example, Patrick, I am sitting Indian style in my black rucker sweatpants that I haven't washed nice. in about three weeks. What about you? You tell me something personal about you. Uh, I can't sit Indian style because I'm not that flexible and it makes me really uncomfortable. Okay. <laughs> great, great. Take you to come up with the thing that connected to me? Um, instantly. Instantly. Yeah. Instantly, and that's exactly what you're gonna do when you're able to put a personal experience out there to a woman that you don't know. Um, the second thing is I call that PRS, your personal relevant statement. Okay. Okay, that's personal, but relevant it has to be about right here, right now. Right. Because what would happen, Patrick, if you went out in public and you said to a woman, tap tap tap. Hi, I can't sit Indian style because it really hurts my legs. She would probably start <laughs> laughing. <laughs> she would probably start laughing. She'd be like, what the fuck are you telling me that for? Yeah. Right? Yeah. If you were lucky, she would laugh and say that. Um, if you're not relevant, that's what's going to come up for anybody. Right. Relevant is the other thing that you and I already have in common. Cool. You and I have right now in common. Right. We have a world already and it's right here where we stand. You may not even be standing in front of each other. Mm -hmm. However, if you become personal and you become relevant, you can immediately connect to a woman. She sure. will feel immediately connected to you. Cool. But how do you get her to respond, even if you say something personal, something relevant? 
uh, you make it interesting? Um, not necessarily. Okay. Because what you've done is, by personally connecting, now she thinks about how she connects to you. Am I right? True. So when I said to you about me sitting Indian style, you immediately thought about yourself sitting Indian style, didn't you? Yes. It'll happen with anybody. Um, and the reason they become interested in that conversation is because now they're thinking about themselves. Right. So everybody inadvertently thinks to themselves, oh, this conversation is about me. I love me. I'm so interested in myself. Yeah. <laughs> right? Right. I mean, they may, they may not say that, but that's immediately what happens. It's instinctual. Like, oh, this is about me now. So I always say add a how about you because it literally invites her to open up like, her secure feelings. the connection. Yeah, to open up and secure the connection. Because she may feel connected, but until she actually contributes, you guys aren't really connected. True. So basically... But does all that make sense? I feel like I just talked like... No. <laughs> no, it was awesome because you basically said <laughs> make it personal and like yeah. something that she can relate to. Be relatable. Yeah. Be in the present moment, like you're not yeah. talking about like something completely unrelated, and then invite right. her to contribute, right? Uh huh. Cool. Yeah. So I call it the PRS plus hey. <laughs> how about you? So that's, that's how cool. I make everybody remember it. Try it. Ready? All right. PRS plus hey. hey. How about you? <laughs> yes. <laughs> there we go. Everybody, pause. Okay. Pause the bubble butt, and then pause do the that. <laughs> And then come back. Do it right now. Come right back. Yeah. Come and correctly right back. She will make you come correctly for sure. Yes. yes. <laughs> How did I get so dirty already? <laughs> Sex extraordinaire. Yay! Um, <laughs> so, like, based on this topic, uh, you recently came out with a video about being creepy versus being... Um, oh, my God. You saw that already? <laughs> yeah. I put it yesterday. Yeah. Being creepy versus being creepy. Yeah, yeah. So... Basically, how do you come across in a non-creepy way while still showing intent? Like, what is your viewpoints on that? I think that's an awesome question because yesterday I was actually on the phone with a client who refuses to get sexual because in his mind, you know, that's very, um, that's creepy. No matter what, it's creepy. And I was like, no, it's absolutely necessary. Yeah. Uh, you need to think with your dick. Women know that you have one. Yeah. And we like that you have one. It's just that sometimes guys... Don't use it in the way they should. Well, the thing is, like, being creepy. in a bar, if I'm in a bar and you're in a bar uh -huh. and I come up and talk to you, clearly I have interest in you. Like, there's yeah, you and we you know, know that. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. We girls, we fucking know. We're not yeah. stupid. Yeah. You know? And for you, to, for you to hide it is an insult to our intelligence, which is why we get so mad when, like, our guy friends try to get sexual with us out of nowhere because it's like, wait a minute, like, yeah. I just... Where, where did this come from, you know? Yeah. If you don't put your dick out there up front, I mean, metaphorically Not speaking, yes. we're going to assume you don't have one or that you don't want to use it, period, because we know exactly why you're talking to us. And that's yeah. fine. We get it. Yeah. So what would you recommend are good ways to show that kind of intent and do that without okay. literally put it, putting your dick out? Right, because, well, you have to eventually, right? Eventually. Um, but not but right in order to get to that point. After PRS plus hey. This is hey. Yeah. Okay, so I say first got to get her feeling connected. Yeah. Then you have to get her feeling good about you because, again, we all have the ability to connect with one another, mm -hmm. bottom line. Yes. Um, even though you and I are seemingly sane people, we can both connect to Jeffrey Dahmer in some way. Who's that? Awful. It's a serial killer. But anyway, <laughs> but we're all human. So the one yeah. thing that'll take it a step further from like us being all human is making her laugh. Got to make her laugh. She doesn't have to like piss her pants, but she has to feel good about you. Yes. Because she feels connected to you. Then she has to feel good about you. You're making her laugh. Then you have to show her that she's that you're actually interested in her. Yeah. So how would you recommend getting someone to laugh? Because I feel like there's a definite difference between me being a dancing monkey ass clown versus yes. me being uh, able to spark Patrick. sexual attraction and laughter, you know? Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, okay, so laughter comes from, and I love explaining this. If you Google what laughter is, yeah. the definition is um, out of the ordinary, right? right. Um, that's why we'll all laugh just as much at, like, a cat wearing, like, a Batman costume as we will with somebody busting their ass and falling down the stairs. It's completely out of our usual context. Right. The way to be funny is to get out of the usual mundane way of talking to 
people you have regular conversations with. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I mean, it's hard to understand without concrete examples. Mm -hmm. However, um, you know, earlier in the conversation, you were like, oh, you know, how do you get to come correctly? And I switched it up and like, yes, let's all come correctly. But you and I both know that this is, we're not talking about, you, you and I both know we're talking about something different, right? Yes. Out of the ordinary. Um, again, I have plenty of examples in Spook Spark Arousal because there's so many different ways to be funny yeah. without having to just mirror what some other person told you. Right. But it's all about being in context with the actual conversation. Right. So I guess the main takeaway for that before we continue on with what you're saying, because I so yeah. rudely interrupted you, was Shut there's, up. A, there's, a, <laughs> there's a difference between being like me seeking to get your laughter by doing something crazy Versus yeah. me just cracking jokes in a self amusing way. That... Um, I want to. Okay, so I, I really, really like that you said that. Yeah. Um, getting to like being funny by trying to get her to laugh. If you try to get us to do anything, we're gonna feel it. Yeah. However, if you guys are already connected in this solid personal experience and you step out of the ordinary from our conversation at hand, that will be funny. Um, it's hard to explain right now, but like me, okay, so me and you are in this conversation, mm-hmm. and um, we talked about not wanting to be a dancing ass clown, and like, let me just say that like, now my nickname for you is like dancing ass clown. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. it's out of the ordinary in terms of me and you having just a regular conversation, and now I'm going to be like, all right, ass clown. You know what I mean? Yeah. But it's consistent to what we're talking about. Right. So it's about being consistent with the conversation at hand and allowing yourself to like step out out of sheer self amusement. Right, self amusement, not self amusement. Don't try to amuse her. Amuse yourself. Exactly. Like let's let's be real. Let's think about the times you and I just tried to amuse ourselves. We probably laughed the hardest. Am I right? Yeah, yeah. And if you feel if you laugh really hard at yourself, she'll laugh really hard with you. Right. And it's almost like I, I gave this example the other day to one of my clients was uh-huh. like. She's going to follow your lead regardless, yeah. so why not just lead? Because if you lead it from a place of, I'm nervous, I want your approval, oh, she's going to follow that lead right. regardless. Yeah, I agree completely. So, yeah. so your original question, I'm sorry because I interrupted you with a fucking asinine explanation about something that's completely unrelated. Um, you said how they can show their intent right. without coming off as creepy. And unless you actually have a connection and unless you actually get her to laugh and feel good about you, um, when you do show your intent, it'll be creepy. Because imagine, like, you and I are in a conversation and out of nowhere, I'm like, I would really like it if you, like, touched my butt right now. And we weren't laughing at all. You'd probably be like, I mean, as a dude, you'd be like, all right, give me the butt. But, um, you know, anybody else would be like, okay, that's a a little strange. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Um, so you got to get her laughing first because then the intent is invited. Right. Plus when you're laughing, it's good. like it's when a girl laughs, and you can tell me your opinion on this, when you're laughing, you're purely like acting on your emotions and your feelings, which is where you want to come from. Whereas if you're not laughing and we're like having a very logical conversation, that would not make sense for me to like touch your butt. Exactly. Right. What the fuck is wrong with you? Yeah. But if you want genuine laughing i like that you said that it starts the emotional process right and laughter is a very good very positive reinforcing emotional process if you come and touch my butt i might be like what the fuck (laughs) but you are already in my mind as this is a really safe really neutral really like positive experience yeah so you touch in the butt, I might be like, what the fuck is wrong with you? But I'd I'd probably still let you touch my butt. Like, (laughs) she'll let you touch the butt too. Yeah. Awesome. But unless you have those two things first, it's going to be creepy. Exactly. No, I love that answer. So um, let's let's kind of change gears right now because I know okay. on your interview that you had on Nightline, which uh-huh. you haven't watched is what you said, uh, you, you were working with guys in their online profiles, right? Yes, that is one of the things I do. So what – like I don't know personally know very much about the online space. I personally don't do it because I I rather meet someone in person. Because you're like I'm like such a sexy motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So what what kind of tips do you give guys as far as like sticking out on their online online profile, whether it's Tinder, Bumble, anything like yes. that? Yes. Yeah. First of all, I always say you always want to speak conversationally. Okay. That's it. So like 
Patrick, when you and I sit down, I'm like, hey, you know, tell me about yourself. You would never say, charming, charismatic, really cool, yeah. likes to have a good time. I'd be like, the fuck is wrong with this guy? Yeah. Right? Right. Like, if I sat down and said that shit to you, what would you, how would you react? Uh, I would assume you were joking, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Nobody would, you wouldn't take me seriously. I wouldn't take, I wouldn't you, take seriously. you seriously. No. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, so first and foremost, what you're doing is you're presenting yourself. Right. And because it's on an online space, um, the only way to stand out is to actually act like you're not online, like you're standing right in front of each other. Okay. So I always say you need to speak conversationally, first and foremost. Gotcha. Okay. Second, second rule is, and this is what, so the reason I was on Nightline is because I had the most messaged, most visited profile in Los yeah. Angeles. Um, no so... And I basically, I've written every single, well, they've written it, but all my clients have written my, their profiles with my formula, yeah. and it's using a system I like to call the trusty triangle. Okay. The trusty triangle. <laughs> <laughs> Illuminati. <laughs> yeah, the Illuminati. Yeah. Um, what that is, it's, um, there's only three things in a conversation that matter, ever. Okay. Me, you, and us. Yes. Completely agree. It's the only thing. I cannot relate to the weather. Um, I can't relate to traffic. I can't relate to geography. I can't relate to uh, what else do people fucking talk about on there? Like jet skiing and like paragliding. I can't. I can't yeah. relate to it. Yeah. But like we were saying earlier, I can relate to your experience with all that stuff. Just like you'd be able to relate to mine. Even if I said something like, oh, oh, all I said was, I'm my freaking sweatpants sitting Indian style, and you were immediately able to connect to it. Right. And that's the importance of online dating. You're not sitting in front of each other, so it's almost impossible to connect unless yeah. you literally connect with your words. Right. Actually, so, that yeah. made me think of something else. I, this is a tangent right now. When you, said, uh, when you said like Indian style and I said I can't sit Indian style, we still related even exactly. though I had a different viewpoint, you know? Exactly. That was – Exactly. Sorry, that was my point, actually. Yeah. Even if you can't relate, you and I still have the same experience of being able to do something with our bodies. Right. We're always going to be able to relate on um, a human experience, whether or not we, the details of it yeah. are different. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So those are Did the... Did I answer your question? <laughs> yeah, yeah, so the, the triangle, the trusty triangle. Trusty triangle, me and you and us. Cool. And that's that's basically the formula. Is there anything else as far as like pictures and stuff? That's it. <laughs> so pictures. If you if you know uh, the trusty triangle, you'll date any girl. <laughs> well, okay. So in terms of, I'm giving you like all my freaking secrets here. Um, usually you have to. I like what you said earlier because it's exactly what I teach my guys. Um, you have to lead and she follows. Um, as, as much as I hate to say, us women were used to and we look to follow men in regards to right. our relationships with them. It's just human nature. Yeah. Um, so what I have the guys do is write 10 things that they absolutely love about themselves. Um, things that make them who they are apart from any other man. So I have had guys write things like, oh, I rub my feet together right before I get into bed. Or when I'm in the shower, I have to wash from the toes all the way up to my fingertips in that order. So you know what I mean? So these yeah. are things that it's not like, oh, I'm like, I love my friends. Yeah. And I'm athletic. Like, the fuck? That could be anybody. Yeah. But it can't be just anybody who's unable to. So I have my guys write those things that are unique to them. And then I have them literally talk to the women about, like, well, what would you do if you saw me sitting here trying really hard to sit Indian style, which just wasn't happening? I'd hope you would not laugh at me. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I have them, for every trait they have, I have them talk directly to the woman about what she would say or what he would say to her if she saw him doing that. Right. Does that make sense? Yeah. Makes complete sense. <laughs> okay. PRS plus hey. Uh, <laughs> me, you, and us. Yeah, the trusty yes. triangle. That's all you need to know for the rest of yeah. your life. And, and that's, that's actually – That's in line with like a conversation starter that I teach. And it's not even like uh -huh. a specific thing, but I say like – Listen, if you want to start a conversation with somebody, go up and make an observation about something going on in the immediate environment. And that right. goes back to what you said because it's in the present moment. It's relevant right. to the moment. And it's about – Right. We both share this moment right now. Right. It's like even yeah. if it's me observing some like – I saw – I literally saw a woman the other day 
strolling in a motorized scooter behind her dog that was on a leash. The dog was literally walking her, which is... Oh, that's so cute. Even if that's the light observation, that's not necessarily about you and me, but it's an experience we both can imagine and relate on. Yeah, we can both connect. Right, exactly. So that's definitely what you said, and I totally agree with everything. So I love that. Yeah. Yeah. And I love how you have, like, uh, different... Uh, fun names and acronyms to like remember all this stuff. I mean, that's the way we learn, right? right. And that, that's how I fuck all day, but it's not gonna help anybody, right. you know? Yeah. So. Oh, that's how I say. <laughs> I definitely think we have a lot that we talked about in this interview, and I think it was very valuable to anybody watching this right now. Um, if any guys want to I'm find so your stuff here in the future, where should they go to see that? And find that. Um, you can check me out at levelupseduction.com to get a better idea and hear even more stuff on what we were talking about. You can check me out at speakingtosparkarazzle.com. Cool. And, uh, I'll always, as always, I'm going to post the links down below so you can just click on that. Awesome. And, uh, thank you, Jessica, for coming on today. Thank you, Patrick. I had fun. Everyone get to bubble butt after this video. Yes. And then do the, the hey. Yeah, PR says hey. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, and I will never do that again after this. Do it for the rest of your life! How dare you! <laughs> All right, guys. We'll see you soon.